Civilization is a vulnerable... Good seeing you. Haven't seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade at the center. Last chance to move your asses out of here. With my boot. You bitch! Break it up! Normally I like a cat fight, but bloody hell. Can you believe just yesterday those two were best friends? What happened? Last night someone stole Teresa's flower. All of it. A major harvest, too. She could have made a killing. Without it, she got nothing. No flour, no sales, no money. She and her son won't last another month without the income. Oh, she must be desperate to blame her best friend. Ex-best friend. But it's just an accusation. It's not like she's got any evidence. She's a bit hot-headed, that's for sure. But you'd have to ask her yourself. You think she needs help? Teresa? Why? Looking to earn some cash? That's not why I... You're a pilgrim, aren't you? You guys don't do anything for free. How much do they fork over for the water? She'll be near a shop. Uh, thanks for the tip. Infected got him. Serves him right, you asked me. Tempting fate like that. <laughs>
You know, this pilgrim should be... declared a saint or at least the new leader of the bazaar any Better than Carl. Yeah. You're probably right. Don't even try. Hello, Lightning. Yo, what's up? So you've heard about me? Sure, who hasn't? Yeah, I'm a fucking legend. What are they saying? Any hot chicks asking about me? Oh man, plenty. All dreaming to meet the legend. Ha <laughs> ha, that's my life. What can I say? Providing the fastest water delivery on the rooftops gives you celebrity status. I have also the most diverse selection. Still water, sparkling water, lavender flavor, honey flavor, even urtica flavor. Wait, wait, what? Urtica flavor? Who knows? But it sounds intriguing, right? It's called marketing. People drink it up. Doesn't matter what it is, but if it sounds fresh and different, they want it. So, did you come here to challenge me? To get your ass kicked by fabulous Sadio? I know I have no chance, but to be defeated by you would be an honor. Darn right it would, men. So, when you're ready, take these bottles for a brisk run. Just try not to break your legs.
No fucking way! How did you do that? Did you cheat? No, I'm just faster. So no more Sadio the Lightning for you. This ain't over. I'll keep practicing. And so should you. See you around the water tower, fool. Something's going down. I never. Good morning, Pilgrim. Have I already thanked you for... for the water? I hear you were robbed. But my best friend, no less. I'm devastated. Really. And why on earth would you jump to that conclusion about your best friend? I didn't want to. 
But who else could it be? She was storing it for me, to keep it safe, she said. And now, it's conveniently gone. Me and my boy are left with nothing. If only she'd admit it and return the flower, I'd forgive her, I swear I would. Lord is my witness, if she's in trouble, I'll help her. But she's a stubborn one. We've had quite a harvest too. Wouldn't have had us living on Easy Street, but now, now we'll starve. How did Anna explain the disappearance of the flower? Theft, not a disappearance. And she didn't explain anything. She's lying through her teeth. How do you know? See it in her eyes. It's a lie. I look back and realize Anna's been a liar all along. Do you have any proof that Anna did this? Not exactly, but it was in her shed, wasn't it? In here, I thought she was doing me a favor offering to store it. Turns out, she was just making it easier for her to screw over me and my boy. <sighs> Talk to her, would you? She won't listen to me. Maybe a stranger could get around her stubbornness. We can put this behind us if she gives it back. And if she stole it because she was hungry, she can keep what she needs. Her shed's near the water tower. Please, go talk to her. I'll think about it. A friend's betrayal everyone, hurts the most. Ready for winter. Good seeing you. Hey, Anna? Anna, I just want to talk. Talk to me and I'll go away. It won't take long. Look, I know Teresa sent you. Fuck her and fuck you. I haven't seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade at the center. And they say pilgrims are thieves and swindlers. Looks like this one is different. Might be others too. Monia. He was traveling, feverish, and got lost. And he just happened upon a pilgrim. The guy got him medication and then stayed with him for a week till he got better. Looked after him like a father would. And afterwards, the pilgrim would not take a single penny from Annie's cousin. He just went on his way. So maybe, not all the bad stories are true. I wonder what the hell is going on in the Central Loop since PK's restricted access. Some say the Renegade... They're about to attack. Fuck me, people will always complain. We're alive, and that's what counts. Got a gig as a finisher tomorrow. Someone's gonna take care of the fighters roaming the streets around the bazaar. Did you see that? Elvira stripped naked and stepped under the faucet. Oh no, really? Oh yeah, just like that. <laughs>
Please, just go away. Can we please talk? I'd like to help. Help what? Remind me of my poverty? My drinking problem? Or that I'm a heinous flower thief? I'm not making assumptions. I just want to hear your story. I want to hear the truth. The truth? You want the truth? Here's the truth. I would never rob a friend. Never. And that's the end of my story. Did Teresa tell you about the half year's wages she owes me? I needed Teresa to sell that flower so she could pay me. Why would I risk everything? My well-being, Teresa, and her sons, by stealing it. I thought you were best friends. So did I. Until today. Since the fall, we've been close. I lost my child. She lost her husband. I... I became very depressed. Suicidal. Teresa got me through it. She even cooked for me and my husband, who drank heavily. I can't believe she'd accuse me of this. She'd mentioned you were storing the flower. I figured it was the best way to keep watch over it, and make sure I got paid. So we put it in my shed, near the tower. I went to check on it this morning, and... nothing. All gone. You didn't see anyone lurking nearby, or anything suspicious? You don't think I would have mentioned that by now? I can only tell you that I did not steal that flower. I wouldn't do that to Teresa, or to myself. The only strange thing was that nothing else was stolen. My buckwheat, my beets, untouched. Whoever it was only wanted the flower. Interesting. Mind if I go check out the shed? Maybe it just needs to be looked at with a fresh pair of eyes. Knock yourself out. Help us end this madness, please. They had keys. Nothing's broken. Someone was very familiar with this place. Mm, footprints. One set of shoes. Thief worked alone. The rest of the supplies are untouched. They knew exactly what they were looking for. Flower trail on the ground. Bags dragged this way. keys to the shed me and my husband nobody else you're sure there's no sign of forced entry Anna whoever took the flower had the keys or made copies so you do think it was me it's not out of the question I thought at least you would believe me what next how do I return something I haven't taken you can't draw blood from a stone Calm down and think. Who else would do this, and why? Help me help you. Unless Teresa's right after all. Hard to tell. Someone from the bazaar, perhaps? There's Dodger. That guy's capable of anything. And then there's Benny, Teresa's son. And that's all I can come up with. Who's this Dodger you mentioned? He's a snake, that's why. One of the shadiest characters in the bazaar. Come to think of it, he took an interest in Teresa's grain harvest recently. 
Asked a lot of questions. Never paid any mind before. I should talk to him. You'll find him at the bazaar, but watch your back. He doesn't give a rat's ass about people. Just money. What about Teresa's son? Why would he do this? Normally, I wouldn't suspect him. Nice kid. I've known him all his life. He's like a son to me. But lately, he's been quiet, like he's got something to hide. And maybe he does. But no, many wouldn't have done this. It would break Teresa's heart, and he knows it. And even if he had taken the flower, why? That seems to be the central question for everyone involved. Where can I find Benny? Not sure. He's been making himself pretty scarce. That said, I'm sure Teresa's got him guarding their storehouses. Make sure what meager goods they have left are safe. I'll look for him. Since you helped my husband, I'll share a secret with you. The storehouses are full of traps. So be careful. My shed has nothing of the sort, which is probably why it was so easy to steal from. And as for Benny, Teresa keeps close tabs on her son. Ask her. Can you tell me where you were the night the flower was stolen? At home with my husband. There's not much more to say. And not much more? Or nothing? Nothing. I was home with my husband. End of story. Accusations are devastating enough around here. I'm ruined. And not if we find the flower and prove it was someone else. Perhaps. But in my experience, the damage has been done. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see what I can find out. At least you believe me. Thank you for that. I knew this old couple, Carl and Ellie. Used to live above the antique shop in Porsche. They were like 80 years old. They were still. Hey, little one. How are you? I'm not little. But hey, wait. We've met before. I'm Aiden. What's your name again? Maya. What are you doing here, Maya? Looking for bandits. Gonna beat the crap out of them. But I'm hiding from the infected right now. Ah. So, what did these bandits do to you? They stole lots of stuff. But the most important thing was... Oh, they're here! There she is. You're done following us around, you little shit. Told ya. You're dead, kid. Don't worry. How about I beat him up? Hide. This won't take long. Too. And they're the ones who stole your stuff? No, there were more of them before. The rest probably haven't. What's this most important thing they took? My music box. Why is it so important to you? It belonged to my mother. That's all I have left of her. That does sound important. You need to find it, and... I'll let you keep it if you do. You did save my life. 
The bandits went into that building, overlooking a construction site on William the Ninth Road. You gotta get it from them. If you won't, then I will. Whoa, 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 little... I mean, my lady, don't worry, I'll handle them. If you can't find them, just stop and listen. The music box plays a melody like this. Keep that in mind. But they won't be there during the day. Go at night. They always go back to that building at night. Why don't I take you home? Where do you live? I'll go to the bazaar. By myself. I'm not a baby. If you don't want to keep the music box, you could sell it there. It's worth a lot. So we Take my bacon, man. Here. Inhibitor container detected. Aiden? You're Aiden. Why 
will spit cures of pimples. You know me? Yeah. I was hoping I'd bump into you, actually. Let me introduce myself. I'm Rahim. I run Sparker, the first post-apocalyptic dating service. A dating service? I could use a little something-something if you know what I mean. Uh, tell me. Oh, I'll gladly explain. Get you up to speed? Okay, I'll admit it. I made you a card already. Whoa, <laughs> what? I created a profile for you. A uh, profile on, on a card? What on earth for? Well, it's my job. The world may have ended, and most of our loved ones have turned into bloodthirsty monsters roaming the streets, but uh, that doesn't mean people have stopped being lonely. I mean, shit, that's exactly why they're lonely these days. You mean to tell me there was a time when people weren't lonely? Imagine a world where people actually went out to work, shopping, walking their dog, and on top of that, they had dating apps. Um, uh, apps? Okay, okay, never mind. What I'm trying to say is that before the shit hit the fan, we used to socialize. There were parties, you know, when people got together just for the sake of being together, and of course, to get laid. <laughs> now, Everyone just stays home, behind closed doors, because, well, meeting new people can result in getting clubbed in the skull for a bucket of water. So, well, let me get this straight. Your cards help people meet? Basically, yes. People who want to meet other people come see me. I draw them. I'm pretty good at that. Or at least, that's what I'm taught. <laughs> then, I put their portrait on a card and display it on my dating board. If someone's interested, they get in touch with me and voila, a romance is born. Not always for very long, but uh, I guess that's something that hasn't changed. But right now, I'm in deep shit and I desperately need help. Of course you do. <laughs> Some shithead trying to imitate me forged several Sparker cards. They scattered them around town. That's infringement. It's ruining my reputation and disorienting my customers. I need someone to collect these fake cards for me and bring them back. I heard that a talentless hack was killed in a dark zone, so he won't be bothering me again. And I managed to find most of the fake cards. But there are two left I couldn't get hold of. Bring them to me, and I'll give you the card I've made for you. Check the map on the wall. I've marked possible locations for the fake cards. Aiden, you've been around a while. You're practically one of us now. Good to see you.
We citizens have seen it all. Why are you in love? What if he doesn't want to settle? Oh, come on. He's sent to you Aiden, warms my heart to see a treasured friend. You getting sentimental on me? I have a mission for you. You have to defeat an army of virals and then jump into fire. A jump? From how high? The what? I'm jumping into fire, aren't I? <laughs> you got me! I'll be damned. And here I was thinking you were a stiff pilgrim. What do you need? Teresa's flower was stolen, and I want to find out who did it. Teresa's flower was... What the fuck? Okay, you've got my attention. You know where Benny might be? Do I look like his mother? Believe me, he's on top of my where are they now list. He went down in flames in our last card game. He almost literally bet the farm. And lost. So if you're looking for that flower, it's not Teresa's or Benny's no more. It's mine. The kid owed it to me. And if it's missing, it was stolen from me. Aha. Uh -huh. So Benny's in your debt. Big time. Up to his ears, you might say. In flower. You think he stole it? Could be. He's a dumb kid who might think that will stop me from trying to collect. I need to find him then. Ask Mother Teresa. She's usually got the boy on a short leash. Except for poker nights, clearly. What do you know about a woman named Anna? What, the one who works for Teresa? Not all that much. Her husband sometimes sits in on our card games. He never said boo about her. Not even a few pints in. That says something right there. So now you know I have the most skin in this game. If that flower isn't found, I am the big loser. So maybe check out Teresa's storehouses. Hmm, seems like just the place a dumb kid like Benny would think he could hide. And if you do get your hands on the flower, just kindly bring it straight to me. I'll pay you handsomely for the service, of course. But it will save everyone a lot of grief, and... Hey, I get my flower. We can put this behind us. because of this ridiculous blockade of the center. Everyone, we should be getting ready for winter. One degree, and another. Gave up on a third degree. Managed a PhD.
pretty empty as warehouses go. Oof, that floor doesn't look safe. Maybe there's another way. How'd you get in? And Benny, right? We need to talk. I don't like this. Dodger sent you, did he? Tell him I'm pulling together what I owe him. I'm just... I just haven't got it yet. Now hold up, Benny. So you're saying you're in debt to Dodger? Dodger hasn't sent you. No. How much do you owe him? Only you had a reason to steal the flower. You bastard. Do you think that just because you turn on the water, you got free run of the place? Tell me I'm wrong. I ain't telling you nothing. Fuck <sighs> off. Benny. Civilizations, but a whim of circumstance. Always.
Where are you, Benny? Let me go, please! First, answer a few questions. But I want the truth. Did you steal the flower? No, I don't even know where it is. So why did you attack me? Thought you might have been one of Dodger's boys. Come to collect. I see. You were in deep with Dodger and used your mother's bountiful harvest for collateral. I was hot that night, mate. And the pot was big enough we could have bought the Jansen's fields. With the water back on and all, Mum and me would have been sitting pretty for the rest of our days. But then, things got ugly and... Ain't no other way to tell it. I lost. So did Dodger take the flower? To settle up? Doubt it. Could have just made me bring it to him. And I would have. He's too lazy to do anything himself. But you know, mate, don't tell him I said that. What's the meaning of this? Stealing the flower was your job, Teresa. So you pilgrims really are crazy. He's off his nut, Mum. You shut your trap and listen, young man. I've had enough of you as well. Benny wouldn't have pulled this off on his own. He's not exactly the brightest chap. No offense, ma'am. None taken. Lump of coal for brains, that one. Mum? <sighs> Very well. I did it. But I really had no choice, Aiden. We worked for months on that crop. Worked our fingers to the bone. It yielded enough to last for months. There'd be bread, enough to feed the whole bazaar. But you know what Dodger would do if he got it? Sell it back to us for triple the price. We'd end up paying for our own flower. A cruel joke. All because of a stupid card game. We'd be ruined. I couldn't allow that. I wouldn't. So, where is the flower? Under the water tower. You must understand, it can't go to Dodger. Then why not? He won it fair and square. Dodger? Fair and square? Hardly. He's a cheat. Everyone knows it. We just can't prove it. Okay. Say you're right. Is there a middle ground? Can we... Give him something else instead. Someone like Dodger doesn't seem all that flexible. He's got to be, mate. Talk to him, please. Ask him for more time. Anything. We're begging you. Uh, let me think about that. You are our only hope. Don't get melodramatic, Benny. The Pilgrim knows what he's doing.
Seems to be coming from that infected.
I don't want to be the first girl I find. She has to have beauty, smarts, and a steady supply of water. The damn pig is done. Got your ass. Okay, let's make things lively. One hundred more. No freaking way. Unless you're willing to cut the time by ten seconds. Deal. Living dangerously. It was already an impossible task. Well, we'll see about that. Aiden, you find my flower yet? Yeah, that's what I'm here about. Teresa and Benny are in dire straits. Can you forgive their dad, or at least give them more time? Fuck that. How many times do I have to say I'm not running a charity? I didn't force Benny to play cards. You know, a man can't pay his debts well. <laughs> He's not a man, is he? Stupid is as stupid does. Maybe when they got nothing left but the skivvies on their butts, they'll have learned a valuable lesson. You know what, Aiden? Actually, yeah, I think I got something to help everyone. Honestly, yeah, who cares about flour? What, am I going to be a baker all of a sudden? <laughs> I don't think so. But I do want what I'm owed. And me and Urban, we've got this bet. Wait, whoa, whoa, no fair, not him. He runs on walls. Of course it's fair. There's no rule against having him get them. You pull this off, Aiden, and what Urban will have to pay me will more than cover my losses on the flower. And there'll be extra I can throw your way. Wait, what exactly are you talking about here? You see, on top of the church, there's this, uh, well, let's just call it a flag. You can't see it from the ground, but this flag, well, it's, it's not a flag. Yeah, you'll know when you see it. Urban and I made a bet that I could find someone who could nab it for us. I've been raising the stakes for years, and Urban's called me every time. But with the amount on the line now, you know it would be a sin not to give it a try. Uh, I'm in no hurry. Rather you just keep raising the stakes till it gets real juicy. 
What's that? <laughs> Fear suddenly got you all puckered. Nah, I, I'm just looking out for you. It'll ruin you if you lose now, being out the flower and all. Well, I'm game if Aiden is. The time limit's pretty fucking brutal, but, you know, I've got faith in Aiden here. So, you in? Let's do this. Well, then let's just get to it, shall we? Three, two, one, go. Andale, Aiden. Make me proud. seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade at the center. Shoes doesn't mean you're poor. If you got them. Uh, look who's here. Oh, great. 
not go shouting in the middle of the bazaar. They surprised me. How was I supposed to know that? Did I tell you, Urban? I told you. <laughs> Been waiting years for this. We've got a winner. The Andy challenge has been conquered. Way to go, Aiden. All right, all right. Don't get so excited. You're ugly when you gloat, you know that? So what's the deal with this flag? <laughs> it's a pair of Carl's old undies. You put Teresa and Benny's life at stake for some old underwear? This was more about the bet itself, but the undies are symbolic. There is a great story behind them, too. No one remembers when exactly, but long ago, a wild wind blew Carl's laundry off his line, and it got stuck on the roof. Carl wanted to mount some big mission to rescue his clothes. <laughs> Can you believe that? Anyway, everyone refused, of course. No one could climb that high. Off and on, a good wind would sometimes bring down a sock, maybe a shirt. But Carl's undies stuck there, flying proud. Urban bet me that I would never find someone who could fetch them for us. <laughs> but I did! <laughs> so you'll cancel Teresa and Benny's debt now? Like it never existed. And you, my new friend, you saved the day. Take this with my thanks. because of this ridiculous blockade at the center. You're still here. Sorry to hear that. I don't know what to do. Does she mess around? Everything when I guess she needs someone to play with. She's growing up. I need some company. Aiden! Did you do it? Did you find the music box? Yes. And I've come to give it back to you. But I said you could keep it for saving my life. A and I mean what I say. Oh, I believe you. But the way you keep humming the tune from this music box, it seems you'd be happier if you had it back. So, it would have a better home with you than with me. Well, maybe. I have had it forever. Thank you, Aiden. You're welcome, my lady. Not go shouting in the middle of the bazaar. <laughs> Just don't get affected.